Hello everybody, um, time for yet another video with me Jonas Andersson tying a classic Selma fly. Um, today we're going to tie the, the yoke scott uh, accordingly to, to the holly specification and uh, it's been a while since I did any new videos due to the fact it's summer, it's fantastic weather out there um, and in the background as <laughs> As usual, uh, I have uh, some wine going on. In this case, it's uh, two different ones. It's uh, rhubarb and rhubarb and strawberry. Um, hopefully, it's going to be interesting in, in the late summer salmon fishing if the border to Norway opens. You never know. But enough about that. Let's begin the video. Let's start tying. Okay, so let's start this uh, yoke scott. I'm gonna do this video in two parts. First we do the body, then the wing. Uh, just to make sure it's not too, too long to follow. Most likely you can hear my wine uh, bubbling in the background. <laughs> this is the only room where I have uh, no direct sunlight, so sorry for that. So, just over the hook barb, or the hook, yeah, the hook barb, and um, then I'm gonna attach an oval silver tinsel. Extra small. Come on. So just tying it in. It's a lot of noise. The the uh, landing or doing the cutting the grass outside the school are on holiday summer holiday so a few tight wraps of this oval silver tinsel Just tying it in, securing it. There we are. I'm gonna cut the leftovers. So go backwards again. I'm just gonna build up a little bit of body with the thread. Oh. Put the focus, come on. Sorry for that, I need to keep attention to that. Now it's time for yellow silk. I'm gonna cut the piece and adding it to the hook. I 
Let me just tie in forward. Just want to make sure I have that material underneath the mm -hmm. hook. And there we are. Time for some gloves. It's hot today, so I don't want to ruin the silk. Binding backwards. And then down here at the silver pin, select like going forward again. Securing it. So, moving the gloves. Cutting the leftover silk. Then I'm just gonna even the silk back here with my scissor. Going backwards again then, it's time for the tail. And as always, there is a difference in level from the silk towards the, the hook. So I'm gonna build up the foundation just to make sure I get my tail in the right direction. And the tail is one of the most important steps because if the tail is wrong, the whole fly will be wrong in proportions and angle and everything. So spend some time, make sure you're happy with the tail. And there I am. Little bit of wax to the thread. Just need to respond to my wife for a second. Already prepared the tail. I hope it will uh, fit. You never know. So let me just tie that one in.
might be too long. Yeah, a little bit long. So let me see if I can correct that. everything in in case somebody gonna fish with a fly you never know you want it to really hold so there I'm quite happy with the, the tail a bit more than style maybe could be much lower and less long but yeah a doggy turned up hey doggy the tail we should have some uh, Indian crow in this case I use a substitute Waxing the thread using black wax now. Going backwards. Oops. Cool. Ostrich hand. I got somewhere here. See if it's a good one or not. Let me know. Dry. Let me see if I still can make another turn here. Maybe get another one. Yes. So Tying in the herd, securing it. Like, we'll cut the leftover there. So On this one it's small flat tinsel over the I should mention over the yellow silk cloth on the body. securing that one mm -hmm. 
and then tie it in. Oh, maybe I should go backward first and then also wax the thread. Now I can tie in the oval, small oval silver tinsel. And I'm just using it all. Here we go. So I'm just building up a little bit of body to the fly. So now it's time for yellow uh, silk again. I'm gonna use a little bit of wax. Tying it in. I think it's gonna take quite a lot just in case. Yeah, securing it properly. So I'm back with the gloves. So working your way backwards. And then forward again. And there we are. So, tying the silk in.
removing the gloves oh it's hot today so just gonna cut the leftovers there not all the way so for that and I just gonna start to build up a little bit here as well Even out the silk a little bit with the scissor. So, tinsel time, but first, wax. Load silver tinsel, tight wraps. Oh, I need to close the door properly. The wind is taking it. the leftover okay, save that for later so it's gonna tie in that part so now we have the wheeling feathers and uh, two can all substitute that to you guys I need to close that door. One second. Yeah, you can still see what I'm doing down here. Uh, so I need to add a few feathers. Let me start with the first one. That one. Thank you. 
waxing the thread again. So, move the top. Let's see if I can add them all three at the same time. So first of all we have a holster churn to add. So I'm just building up a foundation for that. get all this fluff away. So let's find an ostrich hurl. Yeah, new hurl. Find a longer one. Thank you. 
And there we are, so just tying it in properly and securing it, cutting the leftovers. Throwing away the garbage. Then I need to find a suitable black hurl. So I'm just gonna uh, doubling the fibers real quick. And this is really speed tying because uh, normally you, you use quite a lot of time for each step. But how fun would it be to watch this video then if it was like a three hour movie? So I'm doing it quick just to give you direction on how to do it yourself for practice purposes. Just tying in the whole ankle. Now it's time for a broader flat tinsel. Waxing to ensure it sticks properly. going backwards with the thread to make sure everything is stuck then body we're gonna build up yet again a little bit And the body will be black silk, Japanese silk. But first I'm gonna fill out with a little bit of gold. to quickly build the body and there we are just securing that one so a few wraps
Now we're ready to add the black silk. So tying the golden silk in. And then just cut the leftovers. Sorry about that. Oh. It's a hot day. Hot days are bad to tie with feathers. At least for me. And there we go. So let's take out the Japanese silk. So tying that one in. Gloves. Again. So, let's start. Trying to even out the, the silk, make it a smooth body. Securing it. Like seeing the trend. A few more wraps. Cutting all the leftovers. So, first of all, tinsel. Let's start with that one. So, five turns. I can manage. Come on, really tight wraps. A 
and tying in that and then it's time for the hackle the body hackle so as always push backwards And then we come to the end here. Securing it to the thread. A few tight wraps. So, cutting the leftovers. And then we have the front tackle. And in this case, I'm gonna use Capricalia, but it should be in Kalina, but Capricalia is what I always use. And I forgot to put one on the table, so let me bring one, one second. So let's find one in a good size. So Time for the frog tackle. Let me cut that one off. Waxing the thread properly. And then adding the heck in, pushing the fiber backwards.
We're gonna do three turns. There we are. So just cutting the leftovers there. fishing fly. So, as you see here, uh, jobs got very, 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 very quickly tied. Uh, normally, you know, I spend uh, one hour, one and a half, two hours just for the body, making it uh, beautiful. But as I mentioned, you know, who wanna who wanna look uh, at the video for like three hours? So, so I speed everything up and, uh, and try try uh, just to get the content uh, out to you guys. So. That's basically the body of the yoke scot. I tie on a 5 0 hook on the partridge. Uh, let me see. There it is. Good one. Good for fishing as well. Thick uh, uh, steel in it. Uh, it's a great, uh, great one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, it cools down during the afternoon or the evening and I can start the second part of this video uh, finishing off the yoke scot. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel I'm gonna have other videos up there as well so uh, thanks for watching and see you soon bye